So hello guys. Welcome and welcome back to Being Moligen where we explore African village life. And in today's video I want to show you some of the things we use here in the village versus what is used somewhere else or in other places that is not in a, in an African village. And it's going to be a very interesting video so sit back, take your juice or popcorns and enjoy this video until the end. Tell me in the comment section if you're seeing something for the first time or if there is something that you also use that you see here. So we start with the mortars or blenders and these are used to ground things or to blend things that are mostly used in the kitchen. Here in the village this is what we use and this is also just a mortar like any other one but ours is made of, uh, of wood and we use it to pound things like medicine like you've just seen me put some herbs in the in the in the mortar so i'm going to pound this and uh, use it to make a concussion that i will drink that is uh, we believe treats stomachache or stomach upset we also use it to ground things like make things like uh, peanut butter So next is the uh, cookers. These are the cookers that are found in urban areas or in other places that use gas or electricity. Here in the village we use firewood and we use open fire like that to cook our food. So focus on the cookers and not the, the lady sweeping. So those are what we use to cook. We use firewood and open fire or what is commonly known as three stone cooker. We still use that one in the village. So next we have bicarbonate of soda or baking powder which people use to cook different things. Here in the village we usually have a two container system that we use to make some water that we use in place of the bicarbonate of soda. So we usually have two containers, one has holes at the bottom and the other one does not have holes at the bottom. The one that has holes is placed on top of the one that does not have holes and a stick is placed inside in, in between them so that they don't stick tightly together. Then some ash is, is placed inside the one on top and this ash is usually made from burning maize cobs or uh, burning beans stalks after we have harvested. So once you have placed the, uh, the ash in the containers, you press it so that is it, it is compactly placed in the in the containers after this we add water to the to the ash and then we leave it for some time to percolate through the ash when it percolates some water co collects at the bottom container that we usually collect when the ash is new the the solution is usually very dark as it appears but when the ash has been recycled for some time, the solution is usually a bit faint in color, like the one in the Fanta container that we collected last time. So the, 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 the solution will be collected here and stored in this container, this Fanta container. And then we will be using that ash on a different occasions to, to prepare different foods. We use it to make, sometimes we use it to make mushrooms, we use it to make things like vegetables, or we, we even use them to make, uh, to remove the cover of cones when you want to make cones and remove the cover. In other places where we don't use the two, the two container system, we simply add some ash into a jug like this, then mix properly inside water and then remove the charcoals that may have been collected from the from the from the cooker and then put it aside to decant like this and then filter the filtered solution is then added to some mboga or vegetables like this and then we cook we use that solution to to obtain this slimy consistency in uh, in our vegetables mm. Mm. very enjoyable so next we have this cookware that people use to cook that come in sets. Here in the village we have different ones and this is the first one. This one is made from uh, metal and clay that has been heated together and then mixed and then molded into this pot. This kind of pot is used to make vegetables that we use that solution that I showed you to, to cook because that solution usually like somehow 
changes the color of the sufurias or the pots. <coughs> so we use this sufuria or these pots to cook those kind of vegetables that we use that concussion to cook. And then we have also these clay pots. These clay pots are made are simply made from clay and then molded into this shape of a pot. And then we use these pots to make meat and just specifically meat. In my village or in my community, we specifically use these pots to make meat only. Like this one is now cooking some meat for dinner. We also have these other sufurias that we use to cook the rest of the foods, that is uh, normal burgers, vegetable, vegetables, tea and stuff like that. It even boil things like farm produce. Like here, we are using these two sufurias to boil some, uh, some uh, sweet potatoes for breakfast. These sufurias are usually used on the three stone cooker and we don't wash the back so the back is usually very sooty and that is why they have turned into black we only wash the inside of the sufuria and uh, these are some that have been washed and placed somewhere to dry another thing is this karaya this karaya is usually used to make only ugali we only use this to make ugali and uh, if you're not new to this channel you know we make ugali in this in this channel almost every time Next is water dispensers that people use to dispense water for drinking. Some are coming in a, some are, are some are automated to make water cold and some people even keep water for drinking in uh, in refrigerators like this one. Here in the village we use these clay pots. We use these clay pots to keep water for drinking. They keep the water very cold. When you drink water from this pot, it's usually as cold as some water fetched from a fridge. So we just keep water in the in the in the pot, then we cover it with a plate like that. But we don't keep the drinking cup on top of the plate because when you when you do when you do so, people use the same cup and they contaminate the water. So next is these things that people use to organize some uh, items for cleaning utensils. Here in the village, we usually just have an old container. In common homes, it is usually an old blue band container that we use to keep uh, soap, some, uh, some item for washing the utensils and also some uh, steel wool that we use to clean the sufuria. So basically, that is what we use to clean or to keep, to organize our utensils washing items. Next we have these utensils drainer or strainers that people use to drain cold wet sorry wet utensils. Here in the village you usually have a structure that is is it that is put in place on the ground next to somewhere where we wash our utensils. It usually have a top part where we keep all the utensils that is uh, cups, utensils, plates, spoons, etc. And then it usually also have a bottom place where you keep our sufurias. So next notice that in most urban areas, people cook standing like this. Here in the village, we usually have this seat that, uh, this is, that has a two-legged two structure that we use to cook, to sit while cooking. Some are big, some are small like this one, that, but the skeleton is, uh, of the structure is usually the same. We use it to sit when we are cooking. I notice that it is because we have, uh, we still, we still cook on, uh, we still cook on three stone cookers. So this is what we use it for. Simply sit when we are cooking. So next is these items that you people use to keep farm produce. Here in the village, this is what we use. These ones are made from reeds. We make them from reeds and then we smear cow dung inside and then we use it to carry our farm produces. And when they are new, when you buy them from the market, they usually not have they usually don't have the, the cow dung smeared in them. So like this one, we are going, we are about to smear some cow dung inside them. And this one is a, is a, is a, is a, is, a, is one that is in use. It is carrying some uh, yams or arrow roots. And uh, this one is also carrying some potatoes. 
Next is these trays that you use maybe to hold food or even to serve. Here in the village, this is what we use. We call it Lutelu. Luyas call it Lutelu and uh, Luos call it Odheru. This is usually used to carry produces that are, when someone is using them, maybe you want to sort some rice, you want to hold some uh, vegetables, you want to just keep something next to next to you when you are working in the kitchen. So the, like this one right now is holding some uh, some vegetables, mrenda in particular. So next is these chicken coops that we use to that you people use to hold chicken. Here in the village, these are the things that we use. We use them to hold chicken. Like this one is at night and they have, they have climbed on top to be safe. Or maybe they, they feel comfortable that way. This one is one that is, uh, that is old, that is about to be thrown away. We use these ones to cover little chicks when they are still small. This is because, this is so as to avoid some predators from, uh, from carrying them. Especially when they are still very tiny. Now these now these ones are in use. There are some chicks that have been placed under them, and there my mama was feeding them. My mother was feeding her chicks. So if you're new to this channel, I want to let you know that it's so good to have you here. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my channel or to watch a video from my channel. In this vid in this channel, I post videos on African village life. Ensure you like this video leave me a comment and uh, also ensure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on any future videos that i will be posting so that you get to experience this african village life through this channel thank you so much for doing so so next are these sacks that people use to keep farm produce that have a uh, have been stored here in the village this is what we use we call it dero or in english it is called a granary this one is uh, is not in use at the moment because we don't have uh, food at the moment we don't have uh, dried stored meat stored maize sorry we have not harvested in a in a while the one that we last harvested have been all used it is usually made from sticks and uh, we also smear inside with cow dung but this one has not been smeared yet or we have not recently smeared this one because it is not in use when we harvest we are going to smear this and keep it ready for 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 keeping uh, for keeping maize now notice that there are some iron sheets inside and these iron sheets are usually what we use to cover the the open place where someone gets in when you want to obtain some maize we use the iron sheets because they are noisy and such that uh, when a thief tries to come and steal the maze, you'll hear them or you'll hear them opening the the entry of the granary because the iron sheets are very noisy, are very noisy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This is a part one of this video. If I added all, everything, it was going to be a very long video. So there's going to be a part two. So the part two is going to be very interesting. So thank you so much for watching. Ensure you like this video. Leave me a sweet comment and also subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss on any future videos. But before you leave, I want you to tell me in the comment section if you have seen anything that is also common in your village or where you live. Or is there anything that you are seeing for the first time or that you have seen for the first time in this video? Kindly comment down below and uh, let me know. Kindly take this opportunity before leaving to subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.